Hello everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Webulus Project Zomboid, the banana save file, and we are currently at the gun shop behind Twiggy's bar. Last episode I swung at the walls multiple times because, you know, logic dictates that if that's how you take down trees and wooden walls with an axe, that's how you take down regular walls with a sledgehammer, but no, no, that is not how you do it, and you guys made that very clear in the comments, I need to just right click and hit remove wall, which is completely counter to what you would think you had to do to remove the wall based on gameplay prior to it, but, but that's uh, beside the point, we're gonna go ahead and do what you've all told me to do, and we should be able to just crack right into it. Yep, there it is. Destroy location. Alright, well, that's just how you do it, I guess. Um, that's good. At least we were able to do it. Alright. Now, um, let's go ahead. Oh, hey, look, it just got it got unequipped from me. What do you know? Even though you renamed it, Mathis, the person lied, Mathis. The person lied to you. Either way, we are finally inside the uh the gun shop. We'll hopefully get lots and lots and lots of wonderful things. I'm gonna equip this as our primary here. Um, I'm gonna take this water bottle out and put this empty one away. And we'll start looting the hell out of this place. I didn't bring any snacks, did I? No. Oh well. Anyway, let's loot the hell out of it. We can finally grab all the guns and everything in here. And I'm excited to do it. I'm also gonna check, obviously, ah, uh, the box of shotgun shells. Awesome. Uh, as I say, I'm obviously gonna check all of these, um, bookshelves and stuff because I do hope that one day we will come across the um, the elusive expert carpentry book yeah look at all this oh wow this is not gonna this is not gonna be disappointing at all is it that's already 60 of each ammo type thus far oh look at all this stuff we could definitely do some massive cleansing now this is gonna be awesome super excited there's two there holy crap we can definitely go clean up the streets now. Oh, there's an axe in here too? We'll remember that. So there's some things I'm going to talk, end up talking a little bit about in this particular episode. This is going to be a mild channel update episode, as I obviously am looting and talking at the same time. Um, there's a lot of things I want to kind of just chit-chat about, uh, as far as what my channel's up to, what I want to be doing with my channel. Um, you know, just, just episodes and series-wise, because I've been thinking a little bit about what I want to do. And there might be a proper channel update, but I figured this would be a good... As good a place as any to talk about it, since I think I see uh, and hear a lot more of you guys get to end up watching this than um, many of my other things. So I figure why not talk here where I have the majority of you listening. Um, and there's a there's a couple things I want to talk about. Primarily a few series stuff. So um, a couple things I'm not sure that are going to be sticking around permanently. Um, due to me just being bored with them and not really feeling all that excited when I have, when I'm, I have the opportunity to play them. Um, one of those is Starbound. Uh, I've been enjoying Starbound. I do enjoy Starbound. I do enjoy it a lot, and I enjoyed it a lot more, um, when it first came out. Um, when it first came out, I was having a real big time playing it. Uh, I was just having a blast with it. It was a really fun game to play, but as I played more and more of it, I ended up getting a little bit more and more bored with the game, which is kind of unfortunate. I, it's not something I really wanted to happen. It just does. I don't know if it's going to go away, go away right away, but it's definitely going to kind of disappear, I think, in the coming future, unless you guys really, really like it. That's the thing, too. I, instead of just taking something away because I get bored, I also look at the numbers and see who's watching and who's not. Right now, the numbers for Starbound are pretty good, um, and I might just stick with it for a little bit, while, a little while longer. I just, I don't know how long I'm going to end up sticking with it all told, just because, uh, maybe it's because I've had to restart the game a few times, which is why I'm not going to kind of write it off right away. Pardon me while I take a sip of my tea. delicious um yeah so part of me doesn't want it's, it's maybe thinking hey well mathis you restarted like three or four times because of the wipes maybe that's why you're bored with it because everything you've done just keeps getting wiped away which is a possibility and i need to keep that in mind when approaching these particular situations um so that's why i'm going to keep it around for a little bit longer other than that though i just if it does stay boring if it does stay boring i guess on my end and i don't you know i don't really want to keep playing it you know say maybe a couple weeks down the line I, I might end up dropping the series. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Another series that I, I, I stopped because it was always meant to be a mini-series, as I said right from episode one, was Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft is something that a couple people have asked me to bring back, and um, I do actually have plans of bringing it back, but not in the same form as I did. Uh, it, it's actually going to be a little bit different. But right now, it's not going to be back anytime. Well, 
I don't want to say anytime soon. It's not going to be back sometime this week. It'll probably be back sometime next week, maybe the week after, depending. Um, it's going to be something that me and my friend are going to be playing. It's going to be a cooperative thing. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Me and Dean are going to end up playing it together. And I think that's going to be easier to do because we'll probably sit down and record in, in bulk, much like I do with uh, the Crusader Kings 2 and EU4 stuff with Ryan and Arumba. Uh, that allows me to just kind of sit down and nail it all down and bang it all out within like a couple hours. That way I have it sitting in my hard drive and I don't have a reason not to put it up. Um, now granted the viewing numbers for that were not amazing by any stretch either. Uh, but that's one of those things that was just fun for me. Um, and if, if I record it in bulk, what ends up happening is that it's not, it doesn't really end up, it doesn't really end up changing my, my schedule at all. Um, the, the same amount of episodes typically go up just because I've already had it all recorded, so I have no excuse not to record everything else. So that shouldn't change anything. I'm going to go ahead and put this all away just for now. Yep, there we go. And I actually can put the shotgun away too. Wow, we have so many bullets. It's awesome. So many bullets. It's actually really freaking good. But yeah, um, as far as Minecraft goes, I do think it'll come back eventually. I don't know when it's going to come back. Uh, in, a, in a week or two is probably the best bet, so keep an eye out for that. If you're looking forward to it, it should return. The other things, obviously, I get asked a lot, hey, are we going to see RimWorld again? Uh, you, this is, this is a very good chance you will see RimWorld again. I just don't think it'll be soon. What I, what I wanted to do with RimWorld was show off what the alpha had right now and what you could be getting with it if you bought it then. And I think I did a very, very good job at showing you what you got with RimWorld at its particular state. Now, RimWorld is not really in a state where it's worth showing off a whole new series of again. It might be worth grabbing, making a video and saying, hey, here are the new things for, for RimWorld. Um, but for me, RimWorld's all about the long, the long form gameplay. It's all about seeing the story unfold before you and enjoying the story that unfolds as I play. And to, to just do one video as an update is not exactly enticing to me and not exactly enticing for what my channel's all about. That's what indie snapshots are for, and I do plenty of those. Mm. This tea is so good this morning. Um, and that, that brings me to my next point. Um, we, will, we will obviously continue to see indie snapshots as I continue to get codes for games that I think deserve to be shown as a showcase. Now, I get codes all the time, and I end up playing almost all of them. Um, and the reason you don't see so many snapshots is because a lot of them are really early in their development. And they're not really worth showing yet, which means I have a little notepad, a little file that, that tells me to check, you know, I kind of make this little file of, this game is X through development, check back in X amount of months, and I constantly go back and check on games and see if they're worth making videos about, and then eventually I do make a video for that particular game when I think it's in a, in a state that's worth doing a video on. Um, that includes a whole host of games. Indie Snapshot, not going anywhere. Crusader Kings 2, Europa Universalis 4, also not going to be going anywhere. We'll be taking a look. Um, you know, that, that's one of those things that, even if the view numbers were like 200, only people 200 people watching, or two people watching, that series still wouldn't be going anywhere. Because it's one of those things that me, Ryan, and Aruma kind of get together and go, it's Friday, it's time to play some freaking multiplayer Paradox games, let's have some fun. And it's just a way for us to kind of chill and play a game together and hang out. Um, so that's not, that's definitely not going to be going anywhere. Zomboid, obviously, not going anywhere at all, ever, probably ever, ever, ever. Um, Project Zomboid is one of those series that's the mainstay of my channel, it's what built my channel, it's one of the, my, my most viewed series, and it's one of the series that I could not imagine really living without. Uh, so Zomboid will never, ever be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, I'm going to do some cleaning out, by the way, the reason I'm coming over here, because I, I had a weird, vague memory of seeing zombies over here in one of my episodes and saying I need to come over here and clear it out. Um, I think that was when I was heading to West, I mean Muldrow, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do some looting as well. And then we're going to, I think either this episode or next, we're going to start doing some zombie clearing. But I want to I wanna kind of ensure safety near my house first. Um, so yeah, Zomboid obviously not going anywhere. After this particular character dies, we'll probably start a new series, obviously, with um, new a new numbered thing. Uh, I don't know what I'll end up doing. I don't know if it's going to be... Um, Muldrow or Modded or whatever, I have yet to really decide that yet. If I die today, I obviously will have to make that decision ASAP. Um, 
But that's that's the thing. Zomboid's not going anywhere. It, it won't be going anywhere for as long as it's you know enjoyable for me to play and enjoyable for you to watch. So don't worry about that. That's uh, one of those. This is one of the best games ever to bring into to you guys as a series because really, even if you guys are playing alongside of me, which I'm hoping most of you do, you know everybody's story is different. Everybody's survival is is different. And then you know in the next part after this particular character ends up dying. You know, we're going to be looking at a brand new patch with newer, you know, thicker amount of zombies, etc., etc. So, it'll be a very different playthrough the next the next time around. Right, let's uh, crack him out. Uh, which leads me to what I want to do in the future of my channel. There's a lot of lot of beautiful things that are I'm really excited to kind of get my hands down and dirty on. Um, as far as the next few months, uh, we have packs coming up. And I have a press pass to PAX this year, which is awesome. And I will be doing something along the lines of bringing you PAX videos. Now, um, I do not think I will be able to, because I don't have the equipment to do it yet, um, is to, like, do formal camera interviews. Though I might be able to get some done since Jake, also known as Red Panda Gamer, and Bear Taffy will be crashing at my place. Um, and I know Jake is going to have a camera. Maybe I'll be able to snatch a little bit of use of his camera and uh, create some interview videos, but I have a cooler idea that I am not going to lie. I definitely snatched from Ryan, Northern Lion, who did it last year and said, you know, I should do it this year because it's a really good idea for people who don't really want to do that interview thing or can't do that interview thing. And he does something called Packs at Home. I obviously won't call it Packs at Home. I think I'm going to call it Pocket Packs, I think is what I'm going to call it, um, where I email and, and maybe get some PAX versions or PAX builds of certain indie games and do my impressions of them um, before going to PAX and then upload them all throughout the PAX weekend while I'm there. That way you guys get to see the games that I'm going to be playing while I'm at PAX with my impressions on them, what you could be excited for, what you guys won't be excited for, and to um, you know be excited for whatever it is coming up. I think that's what I'm going to call it is Pocket PAX. It's a pretty sure what I want to call it anyway. Um, so that's something that's going to be coming up in April, which is exciting. Uh, there's also some games I'm really looking forward to playing and bringing to the channel. Um, one that I've, I was excited for bringing, but I think I'm going to wait to see how the indie snapshot ends up holding up, is Banished. Banished is one of those games that is super fun. Um, it is a game that I had such a good time playing in that I, even during my indie snapshot where I told myself, Matt, just keep it short, you know, just talk about what the game's about and then let it go, ended up going for 45, almost 50 minutes. And I loved, love, love, love Banished. And if you guys are a fan of survival games, of city builder games, of survival city builder games, please go watch the Banished snapshot and check out that game. It is absolutely well worth the, the wait the developer ended up putting us through because he did put us through a hell of a wait to get our hands on that game. Um, but it is so worth it. It is so well polished. It is such an elegantly built game, and it is a ton of fun. It's really, really good. So please, go check out Banished. Um, other things, I've got a snapshot of, of Kenshi coming up. I think that game is in a particular build of its alpha where I definitely want to start talking about it. It's another survival uh, survival game, um, which is kind of what my channel's built around. And I do want to bring DayZ to the channel. That's something I've been talking about for a long time. DayZ is something that I have been, or have played a little bit, and... The standalone wasn't, in my opinion, in in a position really worth um, showcasing at that particular time when the standalone came out. But now I think it's in a spot that's worth checking out. I do. I think Daisy standalone is something that I definitely want to showcase. Now, whether there'll be a series of Ford or not is totally up in the air. Um, but I do want to do a little snapshot of it because, hey, who knows? Maybe you have yet to see Daisy and you don't know what Daisy is all about. And that is something I would love to fix if you are one of those people. Um, on top of that, Zomboid Multiplayer is around the corner in the next week or two, who knows. And when that comes out, I definitely want to do something on that for my channel. So we'll be looking at a series or something um, as far as that's concerned. It's not going to be an everyday series. There are very few series that are everyday on my channel. Um, only two of them, in fact, that are guaranteed to be every single day, which is CK2 and Zomboid. But definitely something with multiplayer. Uh, for all those who are curious what the multiplayer is going to be like. It's just, there's a lot. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, fear not, there is a lot to come on my channel, and I don't want you to think that there's not. Um, I do want to wake this guy up. There we go. I do want to kind of smack him from behind. Crawlers bother me. They stress me out, man. Now, one of these zombies had an axe on them, which was great. That was good to clean up. Um, but it, what, what's more important is that this little, you know, contingent of zombies that were chilling over here... 
by my house is now taken care of. And they were taken care of straight melee style, which means no ammo was wasted or used in the departure of these particular group of zombies, which is uh, always a good thing. That is uh, dead. I do want to get some food. I don't know where the closest contingent of food is going to be outside of my house. I'm hoping that maybe there's a couple areas that I have yet to loot out that I can loot out. There's actually a good chunk of zombies over here, too, which is surprising. There's a crawler over there, which we're definitely going to take care of. First, we'll take care of this guy. Um, oh, and another thing I'm going to be bringing to the channel, uh, just as just a quick look, is the EverQuest Next Landmark. I want to talk a little bit about that game. It's really, really, really fun, and it's super well put together. It's kind of like EverQuest um, Minecraft is the best way to put it. Uh, it, is, it is something I definitely want to put some time, more time into first before I end up making a video about it. Um, as I just recently got a claim, and I've just recently started to build on it, but I want a, a little bit more time with it before I really give any opinions on it, which is, in my opinion, important when I'm going to be doing an opinion piece about a game. I do like to put a lot of time into it, so I feel like I have a really solid understanding of the game and how it works. So we'll be seeing a video of EverQuest Next Landmark in the coming days. Alright, we've been doing a lot of zombie clearing. Something I didn't think I was going to be doing melee style, but I am. We have quite a little bit more uh, durability on our axe. We have a brand new one that we can use thereafter. Which is why I'm not being shy about it now. I mean, I wasn't being shy about it before, but after I got that axe, now I'm definitely not going to be shy about it. Because we can start fresh. And it's going to bring up our blade skill too, which is good. We are hungry though, so I should probably head back and feed uh, our little tyke here. Because, you know, I don't want him to starve. Come here, little chickadee. Alright, I can hear a bunch moving, though it might have been the blood hitting the trees, which is always a possibility. A couple over here. Yeah, there's actually quite a lot over here. I wonder if it's because of an alarm went off or something. That's my best guess, is that an alarm went off a way long time ago, and a good chunk of them ended up getting stuck over here. Yeah, I, could see, I saw one moving into the trees there. Yep, there they are. Down you go. Alright, let's back out. Let's head back. We're going to feed our character. Let's get him to bed. It's getting kind of late. He's been swinging his axe quite a bit today, so he's obviously exhausted. And we definitely took out a good chunk of zombies there. At least like 20 or 30. Oh, this tea. It's so good to be back up in the morning, by the way. I, I, I don't know if you were following me yesterday, but yesterday was um, was my reset, my reset my sleep schedule day. So I stayed up all night and then some. Um, and I've crashed really hard at like 6 or 7 o'clock at night and I slept till 7 o'clock today. Which is perfect. Which is freaking perfect. I crashed for like 12 to 13 hours. And now I am back on a much better uh, cycle. And I'm back to being normal. At least in my opinion, in a normal sleep cycle. So I'll be back up at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, back to recording early in the morning and, you know, going to bed at a decent hour at night. Which is what I much, 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 much prefer. So that's really, really good. I'm excited about that. Um, but man, I tell you, sleeping up at night, staying up all night, really fucks with you. It really, really, truly does. It is one of those things that... Holy crap, man. All I can say is that by the end of it, um, I was... I was... I was in a weird state of mind. It always happens. It really does. It always, always happens. But I was in an incredibly weird state of mind. We're going to eat the peanut butter for our happiness sake. Um, I was in a bizarre ass state of mind. I was like hyper aware of certain body parts. Like one of the things I was hyper aware of when I talked, I tweeted about this was my lips. It was so weird. I was very aware of my lips when I was like up for 25 hours at that point. I could like feel my lips more so than usual. I was aware of their position, like how full they are. It was it was just I don't know how to explain other than the fact that it was fucking bizarre. Um so that was really bizarre. At the same time, your body starts to shut down whether you like it or not, man. My body itself was essentially just like, "All right, we're done." I don't know about you, but we're we're done. Um we're going to go ahead and shut down now. And I just started to feel kind of sick, which is not a good sign, mind you. Um, but I just, uh, I started to feel, like, unwell and, like, ready to just pass out at any moment. Really, really, really bizarre. So, I don't recommend doing that if you have the opportunity to not. Please don't. Try to get in bed at a regular time. But, 
Either way, we're going to wrap this episode up here. I apologize for it being a bit of a rambly episode, but there's some, some channel stuff I wanted to talk about, and this is ultimately the best platform to get this information across to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you drop a like and a comment below. And if you haven't, hitting that subscribe button ensures that you're going to get informed with Daily Zomboid and other videos just like it go live every single solitary day. As always, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.